I'm, I'm, I'm helping. That was me. A Springfield man donating free haircuts to the poor is told to stop. New Center 7's Allison Witchie with how this is connected to government red tape. The state says the Springfield Soup Kitchen needs to lock up their doors. To the makeshift okay. barrel shop, it operated here free of charge. The smell that it gives after they're done is priceless. Tony Jones loves cutting hair. And God bless me with talent to be able to cut hair. Um, and I just wanted to give back. So he volunteered to cut hair for people who visit the Springfield Soup Kitchen. Here he is in action in December. I was there helping, and for it to be taken away is a travesty in my eyes. The Ohio State Barber Board recently called the soup kitchen. With them telling us that we need to close down because we're not a legal barber shop. The clippers, uh, hair care. The soup kitchen isn't a licensed barber shop. Jones went to barber school but says he couldn't afford to get his license. I called the board to ask why that matters. We're not trying to be heavy-handed. We're not trying to be the bad guy in this situation. I just want to make sure that the public is protected. You know, and we don't have a chance of, no, of something being spread. I do respect the Ohio State Barber Board as far as the license, and, but this isn't hurting anyone. Jones still wants to volunteer. Don't try to stop something that is so good for a no good reason. He hopes the board changes its mind. In the meantime, a salon here in the city says it will open its license doors sometime next week for the free haircuts. In Springfield, Allison Witchie, News Center 7. A 20-year-old.